Hello. So today, John and I are going on a really long hike. Um, and we're gonna get to an elevation over 14,000 feet and hopefully see lots of critters and lots and lots of beautiful stuff. I don't see how it's possible that we wouldn't. So uh, come along with me. It's gonna be a ton of fun and definitely a butt kicker, but in the best kind of way because the payoff's just gonna be exceptional. So yay, happy Friday. Weasel, weasel. All right, well, this weasel's still running around a little bit, but I had been filming to show you guys the big reveal of this alpine lake. So here's the alpine lake. Pretty stunning, huh? Now I'm going to try to find that weasel. Today is the best day ever. We stopped to get a beautiful photo of the lake being above it. And there's another weasel. So, oh my God, this makes my heart so happy. I'm so grateful. <sighs> and I know John's getting like epic video of all this. So I'll have the photos and he'll have some really cool video. Um, this is his first day using a new camera he just got. So, oh my God, I'm excited. Best day ever! Alright, so we are at that saddle and very, very pretty, very mountainous. Uh, mountain behind John is where we're headed. If storm clouds keep building, I don't know if I'm gonna go up, but for sure going to try to go up. So yeah very windy up here very cold up here but it feels so good and yeah just like feels remarkably good to be home <laughs> like i don't think i can say that enough Well, if you guys can freaking believe it, we saw another weasel. Uh, this one was like in beautiful, beautiful autumn colored tundra. John is changing his battery currently because of all the phenomenal wildlife that we've seen. Uh, there's pika and marmots all over too now. Of course, the mountains are looking flawless. I'm just watching a marmot up ahead of me and man, just feeling so lucky today. What the heck? It's one of those perfect days again. So yeah, hopefully we'll see another weasel. Who knows? So there is a little baby marmot right there. As cute as can be getting ready for winter. Absolutely precious. Here is a beautiful marmot with a beautiful view. All right, guys, weasel number four. 
out in that talus field. So John also claims to have potentially seen a pine marten. So we are keeping our eyes peeled. There's that fucking weasel. Are you kidding me? All right, so John and I have parted ways. He's headed up the mountain and I'm just gonna see if I can get some better photos of this weasel in this talus field. Um, I figure now is like the best day ever to try and to like dedicate time to it because we've never had quite this much luck with weasels in one day. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a while and see what happens. So we shall see. All right, well, I've been here for a while now. And of course, in true wildlife fashion, that weasel has taken off and I have not seen it. So part of me is regretting stopping and that I didn't stick with John, but that's okay. Cause I mean, had I gotten this shot that I've been trying to get for years and years, it would be worth it. And it can only happen if I try. So sometimes trying is really all that matters and that's what I have done. So I'm probably gonna give it five more minutes and then pack back up and see if I can catch up with John. So yeah, today's a hard day, but it's a really exciting day. So here's where I'm at, and here is where we came from. That's that saddle we came over, and then <laughs> we came from miles and miles before that. So this is a very, very intense day, and uh, yeah, let's go to that alpine lake, huh? It's a twofer. Yay. All right, well, how beautiful. Um, really, really glad to have come up. And I don't think that I have the time 
that I would need to go meet up with John up on the mountain. So I'm gonna make some photos here and just have some fun and then go to a junction in the trail to meet up with him because I don't know that he's gonna come searching for me over here because I'm not particularly near where uh, his trail went off to. So yeah, what a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. So I'm just sitting here crunching away in a talus field. John is at the summit. That is John. Looks like he is making a video and has some folks that are going to be joining him. Pretty neat. I'm just here with the Pikas. Alright, well I did decide to do a little bit more hiking up the mountain and see where exactly I'd bump into John, so it will be a pleasant surprise when we bump into one another. It's just too pretty not to. Well, it looks like this little buddy is here to guide us home. Super duper cute, right on a cairn. So, we have got to go back down and then back up that mountain, so. And then the back side of that is really super steep and it's going to hurt really super bad. So here we go. All right, well, we're making our way. It's disheartening how much we still have to lose before we begin to climb. Trying to make the most of it by getting some super beautiful, epic, precious Pika shots. Maybe we'll see more weasels. Definitely don't want to get caught in the rain, but at least we'll probably be over the high point by the time that that would happen. So, okay, time to do these steps now. <laughs> this is probably one of the cutest marmots of all time. He just keeps striking like absolutely precious poses. Look at, oh my gosh. You as cute as it gets, buddy. Wow. All right, so we have to go essentially straight up. Uh, it is much steeper than it looks. Uh, cameras and video always seem to flatten out this kind of terrain, so yikes. Um, and then it's equally steep going back down till we get to that alpine lake. But then once we get to that alpine lake, it's pretty easy breezy going for a couple miles. So I'm not gonna be doing much recording or photos for you guys during this uphill or the um, downhill after cause we need to make good time cause a storm is coming in and it's also just super late and we gotta get home for Bivy, so. Here we go. All right, we are down from the steepest ups and the steepest downs. It still is all downhill and a lot of it. I think about two and a half thousand feet, maybe more. So still a significantly downhill and very steep, but uh, for this part of steep, it was 
me sitting on my ass and scooting and sliding down uh, for fear of tumbling down a mountain. So no more of that. So <laughs> yay. I, I do so much better with the uphills than the downhills when they're like significantly steep and sandy. So glad to uh, have the option of sliding and scooting on my butt. Well, we're back on the road, walking to our truck, and we are very sore and unbelievably ready for sandwiches. Yesterday, we got pints of ice cream and John ate his, and I didn't eat mine because I knew that today was gonna be hard. So I have ice cream at home also. And I also didn't eat one of my big snacks on this hike. So in the car, I intend to eat that as well. I love it. So super excited about that. And there's the truck. We were too lazy this morning to take the water tank out of the back. So we're gonna be seriously bumping on home. <laughs> 